This is the best camera phone you can buy right now. This is the only phone that can ever beat my iPhone in terms of camera. The reason behind this is because it has an all new ultra lighting X Mage camera up to 200 times telephoto camera daw siya. Meron din siyang up to 100 times zoom which is kumuha kami ng moonshot. Ganito po yung tura ng moonshot with the latest Huawei P60 Pro. And the low light capabilities of this phone is out of this world. Guys, if nakita nyo lang, if makikita nyo lang <laughs> yung aming mga pictures na nakuha dito, it's something that no other phone has ever shot before. Things that were impossible before are now possible because of this. And on top of that, it has an all new design. Very classy, very premium, worthy of the P series. Meron siyang Rococo Pearl design. It looks like this. Ang sabi ni Huawei, unique daw yung design niya for each model or unit. Ibig sabihin, pag binili mo to, medyo iba yung, yung unit compared sa ibang bumili ng P60 Pro. You have that unique edge. Meron pa siyang Kunlun Glass. Ito. Ito yun. Ito yung nagka-trending, di ba? Kahit ihulog mo, kahit ibagsak mo, magsasurvive pa rin yung kanyang display no matter what. It has an 88-watt supercharging technology. 50-watt wireless charging, all of that and so much more. By the way, ito pala yung mga sample photos na nakuha namin. Using this phone just like this. That's right. This was taken from the telephoto lens. The most powerful telemacro photo I have ever seen. Grabe details, no? Ito pala yung low light. That's right, sa gabi ito kinuha. Karong karo, di ba? Totally impossible for something like a smartphone. Pero yun, I have never been this excited. This is probably the most excited I've ever been. So without further ado, let us unbox the Huawei. P60 Pro. It's Vince, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh. X Mage. Nakalagay dyan, no? Kunlun Glass. Sa likod, wala po. We've got here the Rococo Pearl version. By the way, mayroon siya dalawang colors. A black one and the Rococo Pearl. Let us check inside. There you are. Wow. Underneath, we're getting small box, SIM ejector pin, May kasama siyang jelly case, although hindi ko mas better if bibili ka ng mas social na jelly case para sa kanya. Ito kasi guys, baka manilaw kasi over time. Pero ito, USB Type-C cable and the 88 watt Huawei Super Charge. What's dalawa? Wow, meron siya USB Type-A at USB Type-C port at the same time. And look at the icons. It looks like pwede siya sa phone at pwede siya sa laptop. Sa Huawei laptop, piling ko kasi mas compatible siya sa Huawei Charge. Okay, ito na. So, feast your eyes on the most powerful camera phone in the world right now. Ayan po ang kanyang camera. Kaya sa lahat, no? I've seen camera modules that are very similar to each other. Yung mga gaya-gaya na lang, no? But this one, si Huawei made an effort to be unique. Grabe nung kalaki niyan. This is the main camera. Ito po yung kanyang telephoto camera and the ultra-wide stas. Nakalagay X-Mage. Huawei is calling this the Ultra Lighting X Mage Camera. Ito po lahat yan. Not just this, not just that. It's the whole package. So since nasa camera tayo, diretso na tayo sa kanya. Ito kasi yung pinaka-exciting part sa kanya. The new Ultra Lighting X Mage Camera is the camera that takes the best light among all phones and is the best low light phone right now in both the main camera and the telephoto camera. Mabilisan lang ah, ito yung specs niya. Hindi na po importante ang 108MP, 200MP, 401 million MP. Hindi naman kayo gagawa ng billboard. The thing about this camera that sets it apart even though it has a 48MP camera is that the sensor size is big. Maganda yung kanyang aperture and the best image processing on earth is right here. Starting with the telephoto camera, meron po siyang 48MP RYYB sensor. Meron daw siyang long travel slide zoom. Ito po ay Ultra Lighting Lens Group F2.1 Aperture. Fixed aperture po ito, ah, F2.1. In comparison to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it is able to intake light 488% more than the iPhone. Yung main camera naman is 48MP din, RYYB sensor din. Pero ito guys ay variable aperture naman, F1.4 to 4.0. That's right, nakita nyo na po sa aking Mate 50 Pro review to. Yung aperture niya nagbabago-bago, giving you a natural DSLR-like background blur. Grabe rin po yung kanyang light intake, 191% more or better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And of course, meron din siyang 13MP ultra-wide angle lens. Of course, for you landscape-loving photographers out there, meron po siyang ganito. You will need this, no? Kapag gamit siya itong maskip yung lugar, kung gusto niyong mga building shots. Kompleto po ang arsenal ni Huawei P60 Pro. Unang-una pag-usapan natin yung kanyang zoom camera. The 48MP telephoto super macro camera 
on this thing is out of this world. We were able to talk out of this world pictures just like this and this and this. By the way, yung kanyang camera zoom pala ay up to 100 times digital zoom. 3.5x optical zoom po siya. So, ang pinaka sharp niya sa zooming is 3.5x. Pero napansin namin, kahit 10x siya, sobrang sharp pa rin. What is happening here? It must be the Xmage software or image processing which na nangyayari after mo i-press yung kanyang shutter button. Napansin namin to, nung ginawa namin yung, yung Jason Scandal picture. Ito po, as we zoomed in, nakita namin sa preview parang hindi pa masyado okay. Nung 10 times and then umamat pa ng 30 times, mga ganun. The actual picture, after namin i-press yung shutter button, ito na po yung final result. Hindi na sharp yung picture ha, pati yung mga, yung floor, ang sharp din, ang daming details, ang ganda ng texture, and things like that. Sobrang reliable niya, even at long distance. Ang perfect ito ha, para sa mga portrait shots sa gabi. Grabe, ito yung itsura ko. Ang uh, linis, ang ganda ng background blur. That's right, this was taken on the Huawei P60 Pro. You don't even need a DSLR anymore kasi kapag ganitong klaseng photo in low light kailangan mo talaga magdala ng napakalaking DSLR with a napakalaking telephoto lens to achieve this kind of photo but now everything is doable from something that you just pull out from your pocket here's a comparison between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Huawei P60 Pro 1X ito po sila okay not too much of a difference 3.5X ayan dito man makita yung difference kasi nga hindi ganun ka powerful yung telephoto lens ni iPhone 14 Pro Max mas detailed mas sharp at mas maganda yung color na makukuha mo kay Huawei P60 Pro. And zooming a bit more, we still got a much sharper image kay Huawei P60 Pro compared kay iPhone 14 Pro Max. But this time, parang ang layo na ng difference. Ibang klase talaga itong low-light telephoto capabilities ni Huawei P60 Pro. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you na meron palang OIS itong si Huawei P60 Pro on both the telephoto lens and the main camera. So, even though wala kang tripod, kahit handheld lang, stable na stable pa rin ang inyong picture. Meaning, always makakuha kayo ng very stable shots, less blur, more clarity, and better background blur. Oh, pala, nakalabot sabihin yung kanyang video capabilities. Ito po yung mga videos niya. By the way, hanggang 4K 60 frames per second na pala siya sa rear camera. Now, the telephoto lens is not only for zooming. Marami po siyang uses, no? Uh, pwede siyang pang-portrait shot. Kung gusto niyong mas close up sa inyong subject without ever having to move your location. It also produces really nice background blur just like this. Kanda. Pero, this is something that no other phone is able to do. Which is... Telephoto Super Macro Shots. That's right, yung telephoto camera niya is pwedeng gamitin for macro photography. Kasi pwede kang mag-zoom in ng todo on a particular subject and you're able to get the macro version of that part. Ito po yung mga sample photos ha. Ito yung something na hindi nagagawa ng ibang camera. Not even a DSLR, yung mura, ay kaya gawin to. Wait, tinan nyo to. 20 peso coin? Kita nyo ba yan? Yung sa tabi ng mukha, oh. May nakasulat po dyan. Tsura natin, ha? So, ito yung tsura ng wide photo taken by the main camera. But this is the picture we took from the telephoto lens. And as you can see, Republika ng Pilipinas pala ang nakasulat dyan. 2020? Wow! Mata ko pala, hindi. Hindi ko pa ba mababasa. Hindi nyo ito mababasa with your eyes. Pero si Huawei P60 Pro nabasa niya. Sabi sa niya, mga bagay na hindi nyo pa nagagawa, nagagawa niya. Ngayon, punta naman tayo sa kanyang main camera. Now, yung main camera niya is amazing din. But still, mas amazing para sa akin yung telephoto camera talaga niya. Kakay ba yun? Pero main camera niya is actually the best main camera right now. Way better than the competition actually. It is the best low light camera. Pag napipicture kayo sa low light sa gabi, this one provided the best, clearest results in any phone. Ito po yung picture naman sa BGC, no? Before, sa mga lumang flagship phone, soft yung image quality. Sharpness was not there. Image quality was very artificial. Madalas kasi, pumapalya na ang mga camera phones sa low light. Dito lang sila nahirapan guys. Kasi nga, malit na yung sensor. Hirap silang mag-intake ng light. Kung sa outdoor, kayang talunin ng smartphone yung mga DSLR. But that's something that a DSLR has, uh, a bigger sensor. For smartphones to perform in low light, it needs to be something more. Hindi lang pwede sa sensor siya mag-rely on. It should also rely on better image processing. And this is what it can do. Again, comparison between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Huawei P60 Pro, this was taken at the same time, no? Madalim na actually, medyo inilawan lang siya ng uh, Christmas lights. Pero gabi na po yan. Ito po yung sa iPhone. Soft, dark, medyo madumi na tingnan. Pero, ang sharp tingnan sa Huawei P60 Pro. 
And ang ganda pa ng background blur. Sa pakapag low light, hirap na hirap mag-focus po yung aming cellphone. Sa iPhone and other flagships. But dito, sa Huawei P60 Pro, wala po siyang ganun problema. O by the way, ito pala yung tsura ng background blur <laughs> nung kanyang portrait images. Ayan o. May mga iba't ibang effects siya guys. Pwede nga uh, the usual background blur. Ayan po. Meron po siya yung pa-heart. Pwede nyo rin gawing swirly effect. Or gusto nyo ng bilog-bilog. Meron din siya ganun. Pero ito ay artificial blurring lang. Yung software ang gumagawa nito. If you want the realistic bokeh effect, pupunta po kayo dito sa aperture and i-click nyo yung kanyang aperture icon dito. May nakalagay pong virtual aperture and physical aperture. Nakatala po natin ito sa Huawei Mate 50 Pro. It has a variable aperture from f1.4 to f4. Pero ito kailangan lumapit ka talaga para sa setting na ito. And by the way, ito pala yung virtual aperture niya which is yung software yung gumagawa nito. Meron siyang up to f16 and up to f0.95 if you want the blurriest background blur. Ito na po yung tsura nun. Um, for serious photographers, they see this as something okay na. For most people like me, no, yung... Nakita ko to as art, no? Kasi nakakatawa yung background blur na ganito. Sobrang blurry. Also, the HDR. Ibang klase, no? Tinan nyo maigi yung halaman dito. In comparison sa iPhone, medyo dark si iPhone. Mas malinaw at mas pronounced din yung subject dito compared sa iPhone. Also, yung lighting, mas controlled din sa Huawei P60 Pro. And also, yung kotse sa side, mas kitang-kita sa Huawei P60 Pro compared sa iPhone. Last but not least is the ultra-wide camera. Of course, meron pa siyang ultra-wide camera. Kalama pa rin to, no? Especially for landscape shots. Let the camera adjust for you. And with the ultra-wide angle camera, it is still able to provide very good results. Kahit low light, klarong-klaro pa rin. Ito yung sample ng mga low light shots namin with the ultra-wide angle lens. Perfect to sa mga landscape, group photos, that is why it's always nice to have a camera on a phone like this. Speaking of selfie, ito pa yung mga selfie photos niya. The thing that I loved about its selfie camera is, siya yung pinaka-wide sa lahat, no? Hindi ko alam kung meron siya ultra-wide angle lens. Ito parang ultra-wide angle lahat yung selfie camera niya by default. Ganito po ka-wide yung picture na nakuha namin. Me with my team, kasyang-kasya kami lahat. Ito pa yung itura ng 1x, 3 modes pala to, 0.8x. At ito naman yung itura ng wide and there you go, mas marami kang pwedeng makita with the selfie camera. Kaya lang, napansin namin, kapag low light na, medyo, mm, it's not going to be as sharp as the rear cameras. Yun na naman. But if you get some good lighting on a selfie camera, then you're good to go. This is nice, ha? Yung selfie camera. Kasi, ayan, no? Dami, dami yung pwedeng ipagkasya. At hindi mo na kailangan, stretch pa ng kamay mo na sobra. Kahit ganito lang, ang dami mo na pwedeng ipakita sa background. That's nice. You think the Huawei P60 Pro is all about the camera? It's actually all about the everything. Design, display, camera, performance. It's the whole package. Now in terms of design, ganito po yung tsura niya. Pero mas ma-appreciate natin yung design niya. Let us go back sa history ng Huawei P series phones over the years. Starting with the Huawei P9. That's right, bumili pa kami ng Huawei P9. Di joke lang. Sa, sa videographer namin to. Meron pa siyang P9. Ay, 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 si Huawei. I love you, Huawei. Bwe. Oh, boom! <laughs> Guys, 2016 pa to, at nasa kanya pa rin. Wow, ganun niya kamahal si Huawei. Okay. But yes, looking at the design of the P9, horizontal pa siya. Mas square, mas rectangle yung design, may fingerprint scanner pa sa likod. And then we have the P10. Ganun pa rin, horizontal, orientation pa rin yung camera, setup. Nothing huge sa design, change. P20, a huge difference sa kanyang design. Vertical cameras na po siya. Although merong parang pagka-separate, hindi pa sila ganun ka-close before yung mga cameras. And then the... P30 Pro just came in. Ito na po. Vertical siya. And ayun, magkasama na po sila. Dikit-dikit na po yung mga camera. One row. Ganyan po ang uso dati. Kunaalan nyo, sobrang nag-trending to. Everybody went crazy for the P30 Pro series. P40 Pro. Minor, minor changes. Ito pa yung tsura niya. O pala, si P40 Pro. Camera module looks wider. Dalawang rows na. But the P50 Pro marks a major jump in design. Dalawang malalaking bilog na po yan. Ito na po yung naging uso ngayon and yung last year. Puro malalaking bilog na camera module. And Huawei has two big ones last year. And the camera on those were just fantastic. Also number one sa DxO mark. And guys, hindi sila nag-hold back sa Huawei P60 Pro. Kasi another major difference sa design dito. It has three cameras right here with a major huge circular main camera right here sa center. And look at the back. The back looks so social. Sobrang classy. Premium. Oh, by the way, the design is called the Rococo Pearl design. Kasi parang to siya mother pearl design, yung kanyang texture. Ayan po. If you look closely, kapag tinatama ng ilaw, nagsha-shine yung mga ibang parts niya. Look at that texture. I have never seen 
this kind of texture sa likod ng isang smartphone, kakaiba tingnan. Para yung mga mamahaling gemstones, ganun. The pattern is also kakaiba. By the way, uh, unique pala yung design for each unit. So if you buy this, asahan mo, kakaiba yung model mo compared sa iba. Hindi po pare-parehas yung mga pattern. Your phone is unique to yours. This phone is inspired by the Rococo style that prevailed in France in the 18th century and that it expresses the pursuit of art and beauty for the confluence of iridescent sheen and natural shell textures. Bonga! By the way, glass pala to, no? This is a glass back. Smooth, matte finish. Hindi siya dumihin. It is thin. I love the curve. Masarap hawakan sa kamay. And look at that. Pag nagpipicture, oh. Solid. Uh, kung sino may yung designer to, panalo. Ito pala yung itsura ng black color. If you want plain lang, simple lang, meron po siyang ganun. Tapos sa sides niya, no? It's a chrome design. Mukhang metal to, ha? Kasi meron siyang antenna bands. You got the power button sa right side. Volume rocker sa taas niya. Left side, wala. Sa taas, meron siyang light sensor. Microphone. Isang speaker. At sa ilalim, another speaker. So, dual speaker pala siya. USB type support. Isang microphone. And the SIM tray. Ito rin display. Oh, all new pala yung display niya, no? The Huawei P60 Pro has an all new quad curve display. Ito po ay LTPO. OLED na to. It's got all the bells and whistles. Meron daw siyang 1 to 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate. Ibig sabihin, kapag uh, hindi niya kailangan ng high refresh rate, like let's say for example, naka-off yung display, pwede siya magbago depending sa naka-display sa screen. And naka- Kunun glass na daw siya. Oops! Don't worry, Kunun glass is very durable. Ayun, hindi ko alam yun ha. I took a risk. Pero that's right guys, uh, Kunun glass is the hardest display material right now. Mas matibay pa ito kaysa kay Corning Gorilla Glass. Meron na rin siyang IP68 splash, water, and dust resistance. Kaya all around durable device din siya pala. Although 6.67 lang to, it looks so huge. Dahil nga dun sa pagkanipis ng kanyang mga bezels. Oh, that's right. Napansin nyo? May YouTube. Oh, di ba? At meron din siyang Gmail. Oh, may Gmail din to. May Google din, oh. Boom. Diretso na yan, oh. oh. Boom. Pero may ano, no? Uh, Papatasin nyo kung paano, paano makakuha agad ng Google Apps dito sa Huawei device na to. Nga pala, malaki din battery ni Huawei P60 Pro. Ito po, 4,815 mAh sa battery. It has 88 watts supercharged tech, which can charge your phone to 50% in just 10 minutes. Also, meron pa siyang 50 watts wireless charging. Pwede, pwede na. Oh, by the way, since nakita nyo na yung Google kanina, YouTube, and other Google Apps, here it is. Dinownload ko lang to sa Huawei App Gallery. Meron ang Gmail dito. What? May Gmail na? Eh, you know, pwede mo i-download diretso. Meron ang Google Chrome. Google Drive. Hindi ko na kailangan ng G Suite or kung ano, ano pa, Google Box, mga ganun. I don't need a third-party app to install those. Diretso na po siya sa Huawei App Gallery. Seriously, this is major, major progress. And when you download the Google Apps sa App Gallery, diretso na siya. It's installed. It's straight open na. Wala nang access sa ibang lugar. Straight from the homepage. And not only that, napansin ko rin, ito sa Huawei App Gallery, and dami, even the Ragnarok Origin Global is right here updated. Ang dami ng apps na available. Look at this, Gcash, CapCut, Instagram, Telegram. My BPI, my BDO. Ito po, binubuksan ko na po. Napakadali lang. Gmail, let's open Gmail. Boom. There you go, all your emails. YouTube, mm. wait lang. Let me demo how to install the Gmail app really quickly. Search nyo lang, Gmail. And then, install. Then, open. Login. And boom. Tapos na. Ano lang? It's done. Wow. Uh, I've... Hindi ko na-realize na sobrang laking lundag in terms of functionality, camera, display, and pretty much everything else. Itong Huawei P60 Pro. Unbelievable. The pricing of the Huawei P60 Pro is 58,999 pesos for the 8256. Now, because of what I've witnessed today, all the features combined, the specs, with what you can do with this phone, Testing lang. This is an easy 5 star for me. By the way, same price lang pala si Rococo style and the black color. So, there. Personally, bibili ako ng Huawei P60 Pro. Simply because of the much more streamlined installing of the Google Apps plus yung camera. This defines the future. And I'm hoping for more future Huawei devices. Tinesting ko yung Kunlun glass. Google! More future Huawei devices. So excited for Huawei. It's the future. You have done it. 
If you want to see more Huawei devices, reviews, unboxing on my channel, make subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. I'm Mr. Bins and you're watching Unbox Series. Woohoo!